in this video we will be covering 10 uh, principles of economics and the reference book is manq principle of economics so basically economics is the study of how society manages its scarce resources scarce, uh, resources that are available in any economy or uh, overall in the world are scarce and they have unlimited use and people have unlimited wants so it is a uh, uh, economic studies how to use these limited resources to how to manage these uh, limited resources to fulfill our unlimited wants now the first principle is people face trade-offs to get one thing we usually have to give up another thing suppose in an economy we are producing two uh, goods guns versus butter since resources are limited so we have to choose how much of guns to produce and how much of butter or which one to produce guns or butter we cannot get uh, we cannot get quantities of both the goods with given resources so there is a trade-off there is choice we need to make we we have to take these decisions now efficiency versus equity efficiency means society gets the most that it can from its scarce resources the limited resources that we have so efficiency is when we use these limited resources in such a way that we get maximum uh, maximum benefit possible from these limited resources equity means that the benefit of those resources are distributed fairly among the members of the society the benefit that we have fetched from these limited resources is to be di distributed equally among all the people of society that's equity second principle uh, is the cost of something is what you give up to get it so in this decision requires comparing cost and benefit of alternative suppose we have these two goods gun and butter so i uh, can uh, just analyze benefit and cost of both these goods and after that i'll decide which one to produce and in what quantity to produce what opportunity cost of an item is what you give up to obtain that item suppose if the guns and butter are produced and if i want to produce extra butter given the limited resources i have to reduce the quantity of guns that has been produced so that reduction in quantity of gun is the cost of producing that extra butter third principle is rational people think at the margin marginal changes are small incremental adjustments to an existing plan of action marginal changes are very small changes people make decision by comparing cost and benefit at the margin basically what we will be doing in uh, preceding chapters like we will be deciding on the quantities to produce extra things on the basis of marginal cost or marginal benefit of producing one more unit of particular good this is a marginal changes fourth principle is people respond to incentive marginal changes in cost or benefit motivate people to respond basically if there is a bit uh, extra benefit i'll be getting from uh, consuming a good so i'll prefer going for that and if there is a marginal change in cost i'll uh, try not to go for that good just to save that uh, cost the decision to choose one alternative over another occurs when alternatives marginal benefit exceeds its marginal cost so if there are two goods and uh, uh, we need to produce two goods gun and butter and the marginal benefit of producing one more unit of butter is more than marginal benefit that i'll get from producing one more unit of guns so i'll go for production of butter now fifth principle is trade can make everyone better off people gain from their ability to trade with one another basically an economy is uh, endowed with very limited resources so it can produce limited quantities of good but but if it can trade goods with other economies it can expand its uh, 
quantity of a particular good by trading like if there is something which is uh, produced in less quantity in my own domestic economy i can get i can import the extra required from another country competition result in gains from trading trade allows people to specialize in what they do best these are some concept that we will be covering for in future videos markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity a market economy a market economy is an economy that allocates resources through the decentralized decisions of many firms and households as they interact in market for goods and services basically in market economy the firms are uh, interacting freely so the decentralized means that there is no one central authority that controls these uh, firms basically usually it is government uh, that means one which works freely without much of intervention from the government household decide what to buy and for whom to work for firm decide who to hire and what to produce so these decision are taken without any influence by government Adam Smith made the observation that households and firm interacting in market act as if guided by an invisible hand. This is invisible hand of Smith. This concept because household and firms look at prices when deciding what to buy and sell. They are knowingly take into account the social cost of their actions. As a result, prices guide decision makers to reach outcomes that tend to maximize the welfare of society as a whole. so all the decisions that these two sectors are taking is based on the prices not uh, on the influence of some centralized authority governments can sometimes improve market outcomes market work only if property rights are enforced property rights are the ability of an individual to own and exercise control over a scarce resources that is if someone have this land and it's their property he can properly use that resource only if he is sure he is sure of that no one is going to take that land from him forcefully he is sure uh, he should be uh, confident that yes there is laws to protect my rights market failure occurs when the market fails to allocate resources efficiently market in itself like if markets are left freely they are not uh, that efficient market failures can occur there are many example of public goods which cannot be provided by the market so there are some many uh, cases of uh, market failures when the market fails government can intervene to promote efficiency and equity so this is the role of government free economy market economy is good thing but the intervention of uh, government should be uh, to some limited uh, extent market failure may be caused by externality which is impact of one person or firm's action on the well-being of a bystander basically externality means that if is uh, producing a particular good and production of that good is affecting the other uh, firm unknowingly and the first firm is not taking that into account that is externality externality externalities can be good or bad both market power which is the ability of a single person or firm to unduly influence the market prices market power of firm is the to what extent it can influence the prices uh, in the economy so these two things externality and market power causes market failure eighth principle a country's standard of living depends on its ability to produce goods and services standard of living may be measured in different ways by comparing personal income by comparing the total market value of nation's production so these things uh, help in measuring standard of living in a country in a country sorry almost all variation in living standard are explained by differences in country's productivity basically yes if a country is more productive basically it is generating more output so it also implies it is generating more income too and this is how usually standard of living is measured that if country's income is standard of living uh, of people in that country should be more productivity 
is the amount of goods and services produced from each hour of a worker's time. Ninth principle is prices rise when the government prints too much money. Inflation is an increase in the overall level of prices in the economy. One cause of inflation is the growth in the quantity of money. That is the money being supplied in the economy. When the government creates large quantity of money, the value of money falls. Basically, value of money falls due to inflation because the purchasing power of uh, a person reduces. And what happens is, if government produces uh, or prints more money, the supply of money increases. This increases income of the uh, people in the country. They this. Uh, Uh, increases the demand for commodities the pr demand from people increases and this leads to rise in prices which is inflation society faces a short run trade off between inflation and unpl- unemployment the concept of phillips curve illustrate this that there is a trade off between inflation and unemployment inflation or unemployment it's a short run trade off the trade off plays a key role in analysis of business cycle fluctuation in an economy uh, and activities such as employment and production